Hello and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my friend Stacy with us from Red Buff Advisory. Good morning, Stacy. How you doing? Good morning, Kevin. How's it going? Uh, just living the dream, my friend. So I asked you to come on the show today. I want to talk a little bit about your business. So why don't you give us a little overview of what you do to start? Sure. I am the owner of RevUp Advisory. I am a fractional CRO. And if you don't know what those acronyms mean, yes. it's Chief Revenue Officer. So I work with scale-up companies that have hit growth um, plateaus. They want to grow to the next level. They don't actually know how to get there. So I come in and act as a fractional C-suite executive to other C-suites, and I basically help them devise frameworks and strategies, um, the executive vision of how to get to the next level of revenue growth. And I work with them on the commercial side of the business. So would you use the word fractional? That seems to be a new buzzword for people like me. That means you're not working for the company full time. You're only working an X number of hours a week, a, a month type of thing. Yes and no. So we don't do hourly engagements. That's okay. not what fractional executive does. We do work with the company um, to go after milestones and we're kind of delivering outcomes to what the company is looking like. So we're going to say, hey, we need to fix your sales process and what that organization looks like. And we need to look at the people and the process and the technology through that. And so we create a strategy and a framework of how to fix that across the entire sort of buyer's journey of the organization. And then we make enhancements and tweaks throughout that, that piece of the organization. But I don't do hourly engagements because I think it just undervalues what a fractional C-suite executive okay. is. Now, what happens once you hit the goals? Do you stay on and help them in other areas? Or is it sometimes you hit the goal and you move on? That's Great question. So I have, think about it in icebergs. So I think about it in the sense of the CRO comes to me and says, hey, we need a, a, our sales process is redefined. It's not working for the future state and vision of the company. And so we'll start there, but it's an iceberg. So it means that person can only see the challenge, the four steps of the challenges <laughs> that they see and is a problem. But it's really an iceberg, meaning there's about 25 steps to fix that challenge. And so we work in buckets of themes. For example, we're talking about sales strategy for this one. And so we'll go in and sort of fix that. It's like pulling a spool of thread. You can only see this part of the thread and then you pull it and the whole thing unwinds. And, and that's kind of how we work. But to me, it really, fractionals really make sense. Because a lot of companies, they know they need that service and they look at hiring someone full time and they're like, oh my, you know, just, I don't know if we can afford that. So this way you get a really experienced person, but they're a fractional person. So it can hopefully in the bigger picture, save the company some money. Yeah. And also what I see with some of these executives is they come in from a really big company and now they're at a scale up company and how I define these scale ups, they're a uh, couple million, let's say five to 50 million, they're kind of hitting these other growth plateaus, five, 20, 30, 50, et cetera. And they had a whole team around them that pulled all these levers and did all these things. And now they're in charge of booking revenue for the entire commercial team. And they don't actually know how to break that down into marketing, sales, customer success, and put together a holistic plan that's a vision for the company and then tactically execute between various stakeholders of the department. So I think a fractional executive can help you take that in steps and bits and make this like big iceberg feel like a lot more manageable because this is something I do all the time. I've done about a hundred of these consulting projects. So I help them avoid pitfalls and obstacles that they can't see because they just haven't had the experience or, or know how it has been done. I liked what you said earlier, because you said we can all often only see the first couple steps or we think a is causing, but it's actually many other letters that's actually causing the problem. We just don't have the experience to know that. So that's where with your, your project work, you've seen so many different things that you can kind of smile and go, okay, I, I would have thought that too, but let me tell you what's really going on. Must happen all the time? 
Yeah, it does happen all the time. I usually give folks some ideas. So there'll be a strategy and I'll say, you know, you can do A, B, or C. I would suggest based on my experience and my pedigree that you choose, you know, road path and road A, but here's some other options. And I'll also talk about kind of like risk analysis and say, here's why um, you can do B, but here's some of the risks and the pieces that maybe aren't going to work out so well, but you know, this path could work also. So with fractional consulting, you're taking all your experience, all your pedigree. I have um, almost 20 years of corporate experience, five plus years of startup and scale up experience and saying, I'm going to give you the keys to the castle on the roadmap. So you don't make the mistakes that other companies have made. And I'm going to expedite what that looks like in a much shorter amount of time, because I've seen it done wrong and I've seen it done well. So Stacy, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? I'd love for you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn, Stacey Sussman. And if you want to schedule a call or chat with me, you can DM me. My email is stacy at revupadvisory.com. Thank you, Stacey. I appreciate you taking a few minutes to call to the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. A pleasure.